In this video I will show you how to create a firework with geometry nodes. We are using the simulation nodes like in the video how to create a picture with a particle system and we just edit some nodes for creating these explosions here in the sky. I will show you the effect in slow motion. When I go frame by frame through the animation we see some rockets rising into the sky and at a certain point they disappear and instead this firing appears and spreads over the sky and disappears again. The basic object is the default cube. When I deactivate the modifier I can bring it back. The only reason we can't see it now is because I didn't connect the input with the simulation zone. In this frame I create the rockets I used the grid 1 times 1 meters and plugged it into the distribute points on face nodes. I set the method to Poisson disk and set the density factor to 0.02. This lowers the amount of rockets created each frame. I am using a driver in this value node. When you add a value node, instead of this constant value you can type in frame and Blender uses the current frame number in this value node and you can plug it into the seed value so the rockets are created each frame on another position. We add our new rockets with the old rockets from the prior frames with a join geometry node and we define our H attribute for each particle. We recall the H with a named attribute node, add one and store it again. We do the same for the speed attribute, we recall it from the last frame, add some new values to it and store it again and we update our particles according to the speed vector with the offset position. I'm using the H as a factor for the speed. The initial speed is 0.2 and after five frames we add a random factor to the speed and some random factors to the x and y axis to the speed vector. Next uh, step is to remove old rockets. When the rockets reach a certain age, we destroy them. We recall the age with the named attribute node and we compare it with our um, age, 15 frames, and all rockets older than 15 will be destroyed with the delete geometry nodes. And we plugged in the geometry to the output and we instance our points with icosphere and we give a red material and plug it into the join geometry and into the group output. When the rockets are destroyed we want to create an explosion at their last position so we have to separate the old particles from the rest of the geometry with a separate geometry node and for each old vertex we want to instance a mesh circle with 64 vertices. Again we add the new explosions with our old explosions from the prior frames and plug it into an extra output so we can use a different material for the explosion rings this time it's a yellow emission material. Like our rockets we want our rings to disappear after a certain amount of time so I defined a separate H attribute. We recall it again, add one and store it and after the age of 20 frames we destroy our explosions again. We want our explosion bigger and bigger each frame, so I used the scale instance node and the scale factor is 1.2. And since our explosion is a circle, I used a slightly gravity simulation and reduced the position of uh, particles by 0.12 each frame with a set position node. The last interesting frame is the adjustment of the speed vector. When we create our explosions, the explosion inherits the speed of uh, rocket particles, so they are rising in the sky and we need to avoid that. So I set the speed to zero 
when the particle age is older than 15 and multiplied it to our speed vector. When the age of a particle is older than 15, the output is 1 and I subtract 1 by 1 and the vector is 0 multiplied with the speed vector and this results in a 0 speed vector and when it's below 15 frames the result is 0 and 1 minus 0 is 1 and the speed vector is multiplied with 1 so it does nothing. This is just a basic shader for firework. You can add more effects or add better explosions or change the color of the explosion and I wish you a happy new year.